Okay. From the previous video, we learned that if we can rewrite any given quadratic equation in the form x squared equals k, then we can solve it by extracting square roots method. Of course, by following the recommended steps and the properties of x squared equals k. In this video, pag-uusapan naman natin how to solve quadratic equation when k is not a perfect square number. Let's have the first example. We have x squared minus 50 equals 0. Naalala yung mga steps, yung mga recommended steps. Okay, first step is to rewrite the given quadratic equation in the form x squared equals 50. Madali lang yun. Ihiwali mo lang yung quadratic term. So, we'll have here x squared equals 50. Pagkatapos nun, check mo lang kung yung coefficient ni x squared ng quadratic term ay 1. Kapag 1 na yan, pwede ka na mag-proceed sa step 2. Ngayon, kung hindi yan 1, you have to divide both sides by that number. Next step is to extract the square roots of both sides. To do that, kailangan mo maglagay ng square root symbols on both sides. Then simplify. What is the square root of x squared? Answer is simply x because the exponent 2 there and the radical symbol will be cancelled out. Next, on the right side, we have the square root of 50. What is the square root of 50? Of course, it is not a perfect square number. Pero ang alam lang natin, ang sigurado tayo ay magkakaroon niya ng dalawang, dalawang roots. No? And those roots are opposites of each other. We'll have positive or negative. Now, paano naman yung 50 na hindi perfect square? So, ang gawin mo dyan, i-rewrite mo siya. Ibig sabihin, baguhin mo yung form niya, pero dapat yung value niya hindi magbabago. Ang strategy ay, hanapin mo yung mga possible uh, pairs of numbers na kapag pinag-multiply ay 50 ang labas. Ano yung pinakauna? Pinakamababa? Siyempre, 1 times 50. 1 and 50 makes 50 when multiplied. Another. Ano pa yung dalawang numbers na kapag pinag-multiply ay 50 ang labas? Ayan, we have 2 and 25. Meron pa? Okay, meron pa. Yun ay 5 and 10. Bukod sa tatlong pairs na to, meron pa bang iba? Wala na. Ngayong wala na, sa tatlong possible, pa of pa possible pairs of numbers na yan, piliin natin yung may pinakamalaking perfect square na factor. Alin ba yung mga perfect square numbers dyan? Meron tayong 1 and 25. Mas malaki ang 25, kaya pipiliin natin sa 25. Ibig sabihin, ang magiging factor form ni 50 ay 2, 2 and 25. Balikan mo na ngayon yung ating solution. Yung 50, pwedeng isulat na 25. Ayan, gamitin ko na yung presentation. Pwedeng isulat na 25 times 2. Correct? 25 times 2 is 50. So, ganyan lang po ba lagi? Pipiliin, pipiliin lang yung pair of numbers na kapag pinagmultiply ay 50. Pero dapat, yung isa sa mga factors ay yung pinakamalaking possible factor. Yes, ganyan lang kadali. Next mong gawin ay isimplify na yung, yung ating equation. So, we'll have x equals, positive or negative pa rin yan, syempre. 25 is a perfect square number. This is the main reason why pinipili natin yung may factor na perfect square dahil lalabas yung 25 na yan. Ang perfect square number ay lalabas. So 25 ay perfect square, so pwede siyang lumabas ng radical symbol. Paglabas ng 25, ano bang square itong 25? 5. Kaya ang final answer ay x equals plus or minus 
5 lang ba? How about 2? Ayan. Dahil hindi siya perfect square, hindi siya makakalabas ng radical symbol. In short, isulat mo lang siya. Kopyahin mo lang siya. Nang ganun. And yan na ang ating final answer. The roots are positive or negative 5 the square root of 2. Second example, we have x squared minus 12 equals 0. Similar siya dun sa previous item. Kaya gagawin lang natin dyan ay isulat muna siya sa x squared equals k form. Magiging answer natin dun ay x squared equals 12. Now, alam natin na ang k ay 12 dito. Positive, kaya expectation, magiging dalawa pa rin ang real roots nito. Next step, extract the square roots of both sides. Maglagay ng radical symbol, square symbol on both sides. And then simplify. Lalabas ay x equals. Ang 12 ay hindi rin perfect square. Pero ang sigurado tayo, may dalawang roots yan. Isang positive, saka isang negative. Tapos, yung 12, i-rewrite -re natin siya into its factored form in such a way na yung isang factor ay 4. Anong numbers or pa anong pair of numbers ang naiisip nyo ngayon? Na yung isa ay perfect square. Tapos, kapag pinag-multiply mo ay 12 ang labas. Okay, that's correct. It is 4 times 3. Make sure na yung isa sa mga factors na isusulat dito ay perfect palagi. Kasi on our next step, on our next line, lalabas yung perfect square. Okay? Next. Ilalabas na natin yung perfect square number na 4. Paglabas niya, 2 na lang. Ano mangyayari sa 3? Ayan, kukopyahin lang natin. Final answer, x equals positive or negative 2, the square root of 3. Paano naman may na final answer na? Yung radicand, yung nasa loob ng radical symbol, wala ng ibang perfect square number na factor bukod sa 1. Ganun lang ang check point natin. Next, we have 2x squared minus 96 equals 0. Gawin siyang x squared equals k form, kaya relipat si negative 96, magiging positive 96. Next, yung coefficient ng x squared ay 2. Bawal pa rin yan. Kaya we have to divide both sides by that number, which is 2. Cancel, cancel. We'll have x squared equals 48. Ayan, k is positive. Still, we are expected to have two real roots. Now, next step, extract the square roots of both sides. Cancel, cancel. We'll have x equals positive or negative. What two numbers when multiplied gives 48? Such that one of those factors is a perfect square number. Meron ba? Bukod sa 1 and 48, meron pa? Okay, meron pa. Kapag wala na, yan yung final answer. Kukopihin na lang natin. Meron pa ba? Ayan, meron pa. And those are 16 and 3. Correct? Okay. Pwede po ba ang 4? Pwede naman ang 4, kaso mag medyo magtatagal ka. So, pipiliin lagi natin yung may pinakamalaking perfect square factor. So, lalabas siya. Lalabas ang 16, magiging 4 na lang. Kaya ang final answer natin ay x equals positive or negative 4 the square root of 3. Next example is already written in the form x squared equals k. Kaya ang gagawin lang natin ay maglalagay na tayo ng square root symbol on both sides. Cancel, cancel. We'll have x there equals positive or negative. Okay, same step. Meron bang numbers? Dalawang numbers na kapag pinag-multiply ay 14 ang labas, pero dapat yung isa sa mga numbers ay perfect square. Meron pa? 
wala na. So, since wala na, kukopi lang natin yan. Kaya ang answers ay x equals positive or negative 14. Positive or negative the square root of 14. Bakit dalawa pa rin? Dahil si k ay positive. Diba? Properties of x squared equals k. Okay, that's all. Thank you.